Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we are looking at a pair of pants today from GI Sports. These are the grind pants. Let's take a look at them. So from the top right here, we've got an elastic waistband. Now the fly on these pants, they don't, there's no button, there's no Velcro, there's no snaps, there's no zipper, there's nothing. It just has an elastic band up here with a drawstring top. So if you are gonna wear these pants for paintball, I would definitely recommend either a belt because they do have belt loops and they have nice thick loops on the side, thin on the front and a nice thick one on the back as well. Um, and to not this drawstring, you can just pull it tight, grab the sides, make your loops and make something out of that right there. That way they don't accidentally come undone on you, which um, without having an actual zipper or buttons on the front of a, you might run into that issue right there. But as long as you're wearing a belt and you can keep those pants up on you, they're not gonna slide down. Now, again, there is, there is no actual opening or fly to these pants. It is stitched through right here. So there's no, like I said, no zipper, no buttons, and nothing that can open up right there. You do get two pockets and they are pretty deep. They do go down all the way to the bottom. Let me kind of make this a little bit longer here. They come all the way down to here. So the in, coming into the pocket is right there and then coming all the way down to this stitch down here at the bottom. Now this is, um, the material itself, it almost feels like a, almost a suede material. It's not, it's like a faux suede, uh, but it is very thin, very lightweight, very breathable, uh, movable. It, it's gonna give you that, uh, the ability to stretch and move without compromising weight or, um, or flexibility right there. One thing on the bottoms that I'm seeing in the crotch right here, this does not have any stretch to it. Now the pants are set pretty wide. I was looking at these when they were just hanging down. So they're not a very narrow pant. There's good move or good, uh, uh, I'm gonna say like waist or hip area inside there. Um, so there's a good crotch spread in it, but a lot of the pants that we're seeing today have that stretch, that four way stretch zone in the crotch of the pants and the seat right there so that when you're kneeling and, and, and moving out of a bunker or going left to right on the ground and you're really stretching this area out that they don't rip out of there. Now hopefully them being so wide, kind of like a cowboy, um, that they won't rip out on you, but there is none of that give in the crotch of these pants right there. Moving down to the knee, the knee is reinforced through here, but there is no padding in this knee. The pad or the, the reinforcement does go all the way through to the shin. But again, if you're going to be wearing these pads, I would def or these pants, I would definitely recommend pads underneath them because there is no extra padding in the pant itself. Uh, down to the bottoms, there is uh, just a cuff on the bottom on the ankle. There is no um, elastic in it. There is no drawstring to it. There is no Velcro to make it tight around your ankle or to compress against your ankle. Uh, so again, make sure you are buying these pants that uh, so that they fit you properly. Don't buy them overly big because these are going to drag along the ground. They're going to get caught in your cleats. They're going to make you trip. That's funny and I want to see that, but I don't want that to happen to you. Well, maybe I do want that to happen to you because I would like to see it. But let's try not to make it happen to you. So make sure you're buying pants that fit you. The seat of the pants reinforced through the backside here. So uh, you're not gonna blow out your pants on the backside. Um, moving further down right here, nice mesh netting. I, I like this in pants. Um, I like this in all the stuff actually. Jerseys, pants, um, even in gloves, they see this mesh netting now. Really get that airflow going through there. Make them nice and breathable so that uh, you're not sweating more than you would need to on a hot day out there. Um, but I like that. I like the mesh on the backside there. And then coming down to the bottom, again, we talked about the cuff. This is just a straight back on the pants right there. Um, definitely budget-minded pants right here. They are not padded. They don't have a lot of the features that we're seeing in pants that are obviously more expensive. But if you want something that is lightweight, that is breathable, that is flexible, and is gonna give you that movement and isn't going to break the bank, check these pants out. GI Sports Grind Pants, they're available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.